Hi everyone, welcome back. We're doing something a little bit different today. Um, if you managed to see my most recent beauty haul, you'll have seen that in the last month I have just had a massive influx of new makeup products. And sometimes it takes a lot of time to go through and form an opinion of what I think of these products, but sometimes it's really easy. What I thought I'd do today is go ahead and get ready um, and do some makeup on myself today. So it's a get ready with me, I suppose. And what am I getting ready for? I suppose I'm getting ready to film another video, but um, I thought I would use a whole bunch of these new products for the first time and kind of do a first impressions, get ready with me sort of thing. So if you saw that video, you'll know that a lot of this stuff was PR, but then some of this stuff was stuff that I purchased as well. So go ahead and get comfy, grab yourself a drink, and let's apply a whole bunch of these new products to my face. Now you'll notice that my skin is already prepared, so I've already used foundation as such. So I just thought I'd show you what I've used so far. So the first thing I did was I prepped my skin with the brand new Jolique Sweet Violet and Grapefruit Hydrating Mist. It smells amazing um, and it just helped to lay down a little bit of moisture to my skin. Then I went ahead and primed with the Ordinary uh, Primer. This one is the High Adherence silicone primer. This is a great one. If you haven't tried this one, check it out. I want a little bit of a um, more glowy look today. Even though I did powder, um, I wanted some sort of glow showing through. So I went ahead and used the Marc Jacobs Ju Yu. And it's a um, quite nice, it's not the most like sparkly thing, but it's really nice for mixing in with your foundation um, or laying it as a base before your foundation. Um, and uh, after I spritz and stuff, you'll see that some of that glow does show through a little bit. So I applied that. I then went ahead and used my Holy Grail foundation, which is the Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. I use this concealer under my eyes. Uh, this is the Tarte Shape Tape. You all know about this one. This one is running low. I'm going to need to make a order soon. And then I set everything. I baked under my eyes and I've just set the rest of my face with this. This is one of my favorites. This is the Airspun Loose Setting Powder from Cody. Um, this one is quite uh, popular and I'm almost at the end of it. The other thing I did do was I used the uh, Precisely My Brow just to fill in my brows and make them a little bit, a little bit more even. They're still not 100% even, I'm still working on it, but they're looking a little bit better than they did before. And that's it. And so now I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face. Some blush, some bronzer, um, some eye makeup, and we're going to try out a whole bunch of brand new to me products. Before we get started, I'm just going to prime my lips. This is the um, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Lip Booster. I really, really like this. It's like a lip serum. Sometimes I apply it uh, at night time before I go to bed, and other times I apply it before I'm about to apply a liquid lipstick. So it gives me a little bit more like... Uh, almost like a barrier against the drying qualities of a lipstick, but it also just kind of makes my lips look nice and smooth. Alright, I have no idea where to start. I've got all this new stuff in front of me. Let's go ahead and apply um, a little bronzer. Okay, for bronzer today, I'm going to apply, I'll open this up so it doesn't blind you. Um, I got a really nice highlighting palette or face uh, palette from uh, Clarins, and I really, really like this bronzing shade um, here because it it's got enough warmth that it does add some beautiful warmth to your skin, but it's not so orangey brown that it makes me look really um, fake looking. So I'm just going to dip into that and I'm going to start applying it to the perimeter of my face. So I'm not contouring here, I'm just trying to warm up my complexion and trying to get um, my face to match my chest. So um, I've spent a little bit of time in the sun recently. Um, and I do wear SPF all over my body, but for some reason this part of my body just tends to um, get warm quite quickly. So I'm not sure how well this is picking up on camera, but it is um, applying really, really smoothly. And it's just sort of warming up my face. Uh, I'm then going to crack into this. So this is um, from Pixie by Petra. This is part of the Pixie Pretties um, collection. This was sent to me. Um, so this is um, like a collection where Pixie um, collabed with a whole bunch of influencers. So there was like a um, double cleanser with Caroline Hines. There is a eye palette that you'll see in a moment. And then there's this um, really pretty um, glowy powder um, in the shade Rome Rose. And this is a collab with... Um, Aspi Novard, who looks to be a YouTuber. Really pretty, um, glowy blush there. So that's that shade there. Oh, that's pigmented. It's a little more pigmented than I expected it to be. Okay, that's 
quite a rosy look today, I suppose. Okay, so that does have quite a lot of glow to it. I would go ahead and suggest that um, you might want to, if you're after something really, really like subtle, you could even miss the highlighter with this, but I love to glow. And so because I do love to glow, I'm going to use um, one of the brand new um, uh, Kilowatt um, highlighters from uh, Fenty Beauty. And this is the shade or the duo Mean Money and Hustler Baby. I think I'm going to just go ahead with uh, Mean Money. I've used this one once before. I used this last night actually for the first time. And it is beautiful. Um, if you haven't checked these out at Sephora yet, um, make sure to. The packaging is a lot prettier than I expected it to be. I really expected the packaging to be really um, almost edgy. Um, but it's really pretty. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but there's like a um, um, shimmery shift, pinky purple shift to the packaging. Let's apply a little bit here. Mm. And just to try it out on camera, let's go with the more shimmery shade, which is Hustler Baby. And see what that does. That's a lot brighter. Can you see that? How can you not see it? <laughs> so um, I was gifted a brand new um, tube of the original Primer Potion from Urban Decay and I haven't used this in years, like years and years. So much so that I'm not even familiar with this packaging. Um, so I'm going to see if I love this as much as I used to. So the original one I had was a squeezy tube. So it showed probably how long it's been. So I'm going to go ahead and just put some on my hand and then just tap it in with my fingers. So as not to dirty the wand. And I'm going to go ahead and just set that with some translucent powder. So that nothing kind of sticks and skips and the rest. Um, next we are going to go in with another Pixi product. And this one is a collaboration with It's Judy Time. And I'm sure you guys know It's Judy Time. She's been on YouTube for years and years and years. So this is the It's I Time, so playing upon her It's Judy Time um, name. And in the package you get obviously the palette, and then you get this little mirror as well, like a stick-on mirror. So I'm not sure where that's supposed to go, if you're supposed to maybe stick it there or stick it... Actually, it would make the most sense actually to stick it there. Alright, so with this palette what you get is um, a whole bunch of really pretty shadows. Obviously quite neutral. So what we have is one, two, three, four, five mattes. One, two, three, four, five, six shimmers. And then we've got this one here, which is the black, which has, um, I guess, like a glitter in it. So it's one of those mattes that has glitter in it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab probably this shade here and um, lay that down first. All right, so first impressions is there's no real kick up in the palette. I'm just going to apply that kind of in the crease. I'm using a crown brush and this is one of those ones that I picked up at um, the Beauty Expo recently and I realised when I brought it home that it doesn't actually have a number on it at all. So I don't even know, I can't even tell you what type of brush this is but it is just a general kind of uh, fluffy blending brush and this shade is blending out quite nicely actually with really minimal effort. So far, I am liking this. We're not doing anything revolutionary today. I went for a really bold eye yesterday. Um, and I sent my husband a selfie. And he thought he would let me know that I looked like a drag queen. Which, to be honest, I kind of took that as a compliment. <laughs> um, so yeah, he's not used to seeing me with really bold, kind of dramatic eyes. Um, because I had a full contour and, and dramatic eyes and... Yeah, and when I came home from the event that I was at, he actually said that the makeup looked lovely, but he said it was just that angle, which, again, I'm taking Drag Queen as a compliment because they're fierce. It's given me a really nice, um, warm kind of base to start with. I'm not sure if it's transferring on camera. Sometimes I look at myself in the mirror and everything looks really well blended, and then I watch my videos back and they just look not blended at all, but I swear it does look completely blended here. Taking that same brush, I'm going to go in 
maybe that shade there. There are shade names here, actually, I should say. So the shade that I was just using is called um, Honey Bear. And it's funny because it doesn't look that much deeper in the pan, but now that I've picked it up on my brush, I can see it's a lot deeper and it's got almost like a terracotta look. So let's hope that this blends in well. I'm going to apply this just a little bit lower than that transition shade. Oh, yes. Girl, that is pigmented. I want to make one of those videos where I just say the word pigmented over and over again. Have you seen those? So I'm going to concentrate that a little bit um, underneath that original colour and moving towards that outer corner a little bit as well. I don't see this, like I said, this being a very dramatic look. So we're going to blend this out and blow it out a little bit and then we'll see what we put on the lid. I'm, I have to say I love this colour. This is beautiful. So far, Pixie by Petra and Judy Time. Well, it's Judy Time, sorry. This is a winner. I'm going to have to tidy up a little bit. That's not so much fallout, just my clumsy brush. Hashtag not a makeup artist. I don't know if you can see this, but I always feel like this eye has a lot more lid space than this one. What do you think? I don't know. Um, I've got quite heavy lids and I would say that or actually no yeah I do have quite heavy like um hooded lids here I wouldn't say I've got the most hooded eye but even when my eyes close you see that my lid is actually really short I don't have a lot of space there and I do try and raise my eyeshadow up a little bit for that just to compensate but um often it just looks like I'm not I don't know like I don't have much lid at all I um I've got this obsession with looking at other people and looking at their eyes, <clears throat> excuse me, and like you know those people that have just so much lid space and I can physically, like I can see myself, it's so creepy, I can see myself like plotting out eyeshadow looks on their lids and like imagining how much better it looks, like particularly those people with really deep set eyes or with those really like, yeah, a lot of lid space. It's really odd, isn't it? It is odd, I know. I'm going to take a clean brush now and just make sure that those um, edges... Uh, a little bit more blended out. I really, really love it cosmetics brushes. I've been really, really lucky over the years to get a whole bunch um, at different times for PR. And I have to say, they've really spoiled me um, for a whole bunch of other companies. Like their powder brushes are so luxe. They're very expensive. Actually, no, I have to say, they're not that expensive compared to other brushes, but they are very expensive if you're used to like your real technique slash morphe slash crown or whatever all right that's buffed it out kind of well and it's looking really just very soft it makes me feel like maybe we go with a little bit more so i might pick up that shade there just a slight amount just dip my brush in and then just focus that on the outer corners can you see what i'm doing like literally just And just really light touch and just focusing on the outer corner. I'm living for off the shoulder um, blouses and dresses at the moment. But it was really hard finding a good undergarment <clears throat> that would support like everything. Um, I went, I wore a dress the other night and I thought I looked so good when I left the house. Like I thought it looked, I'm not saying I think I looked so good, but it looked really nice. And then I caught a photo of myself and everything was so droopy. I'm like, oh my gosh. And also, they just shift around and move up and I don't know. <laughs> but I do really like the look of it. I think it's a really nice way of looking really feminine but not showing too much skin. And now we have, I'm like throwing up whether I use this nice champagne gold or this real goldy gold in the middle. Let's just go with like something that I would, like I would say is like my signature colour or my signature look. And go with that champagne gold. I'm just going to pick it up on my finger. It looks really nice. You know what? I'm going to pick up some of the gold as well. So that's the difference between those two there. And often I use this sort of shadow with um, like some Fix Plus. But I'm just going to tap that on the lid and see how it goes. Oh, it's really pretty. Interestingly, that... Um, the shimmer shades had a little more kickback than the, um, they're like a lot more powdery than I expected them to be. Um, and I actually prefer 
think the mats in this they're still really pretty this is exciting okay so let's try out the brand new or it's fairly new um noir interdit interdit from Givenchy and this is that crazy um mascara wand that you may have seen so looks fairly normal or actually it's not it looks almost like an eyebrow but it actually bends so it's not broken so it just bends to 90 degrees and let's see if I can use this without blinding myself oh it smells like musk lollies <laughs> Oh wow, okay, this is actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be really, really um, awkward, but it's actually not. I actually really like this, but let's see how it goes on the other eye. Okay, it does take some getting used to. <laughs> it's a little strange. Let's use it sort of straight and see how that goes. I actually really love this brush. You have to be careful when you're using it though not to apply too much pressure because it will um, bend. I was going to apply falsies after this, but I might um, not. Um, all right, so if you're after um, you know a high-end mascara that's a little bit different, Give this one a try. It's a really nice heavy tube. Packaging is beautiful. Um, just really innovative. Okay, so I did go ahead, like I said, um, and use a brow pencil to um, sort of even out my brows. And now I'm going to use um, something that I haven't tried before. It's from Urban Decay. This is the Brow Tamer. It's a tinted gel. It's in the shade Neutral Brown. Hopefully this colour works for me. It's a little lighter than my brows. I probably would have liked um, a dark brown. But let's see how we go. Oh, nice. It's not too, like, wet. Um, I had trouble with a brow gel this month, actually, that just kept clumping. And no matter how I tried to use it, I think the formula was just too, too wet. I haven't gone um, ahead and carved out my brows or anything like that. We're keeping it quite natural. But I do have a little bit of... um smudgy there so i'll have to get rid of that we'll crack into a brand new lipstick this is the ofra cosmetics um liquid lipstick that's a um collab with nikki tutorials so she released two highlighters and um this lip color this is called duchess something yeah actually duchess spelt with the yeah it's duchess okay so um this is a liquid lipstick um from my memory I actually really like the formula of Ofra so let's see how this goes I'm not going to bother lining let's just see how we go well it's a lot darker than I thought it would be it has it's one of it's it's definitely one of those formulas that I like that's not quite the moussey type it's not quite that really thin type it's kind of in the middle all right, like I said, I was intending to put some falsies on and the only time I really wear eyeliner, a uh, liquid liner, is when I do wear falsies to try and um, hide the band. Um, otherwise, because I have such short lashes and the shape of my eye, when I do wear um, liner, it kind of, my lashes disappear because they're so short. So I was intending to use some Ardell Demi Wispies um, alongside the Aqua XL um, ink liner from Makeup Forever, but I'm going to actually skip that and I'm going to set my face. Now the way I generally set my face on a daily basis is I will use something like Max Fix Plus. This one just changes the way that my skin looks. So it makes my skin look more dewy, it gets rid of that powdery look. And then I go ahead and use another spray that um, will set everything. So I guess this is a fixing spray and then I'll use a setting spray. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and use this. This is the Slay All Day Setting Spray. This is from Gerard Cosmetics, um, and they've done a collab with Nakia Joy. Um, so this one I've used a couple of times. Um, I don't really have an opinion yet. It did leave me looking quite matte, so we'll see if that changes now that I've used it alongside another spray because I've used it by itself. Um, but it smells really nice. It's got alcohol in it, so that's the one that's going to really help to set your makeup. Um, and that's just drying down now. Um, so I'm pretty much done. Um, what do you think? This is a really simple, just, this is actually like maybe one step more than my everyday makeup routine. Pretty like low key. It's not very, very, um, dramatic or anything like that. I think it's just a really simple, pretty look. Um, I really liked most of, well, I think I liked all of those products I used today. I have to say the, um, the mascara was a, the mascara was a bit of a standout for me. I really wasn't expecting to like it. I thought it was going to be a gimmick, but, um, there we go. So um, I hope you enjoyed. This is a little bit different for me. I rarely put makeup on, on camera. Um, so no judging my techniques. You know I'm not a makeup artist. But um, apart from that, thanks so much for watching. I would love for you to subscribe. The little button down there, do you see it? Can you see it? Um, I am going to challenge you to like and subscribe today because I am going to get to 500 subscribers. I swear it's going to happen. <laughs> so um, thanks so much for watching. Um, as usual, thank you for coming and spending a little bit of time with me in my little corner of the internet. I will catch you next time. Bye.